Hello and welcome to Flipped Maths with Mrs. De Hoog. Our topic today is the properties of odd and even numbers and we are learning the rules for adding, subtracting, multiplying and dividing odd and even numbers. So at any, um, at any point during the video feel free to stop it, pause it and rewind if um, things aren't making any sense so you can make sense of things. Um, and today we're just going to start off with looking at some keywords and um, we're just looking at the even number, what an even number is. I know this is a bit of revision, but it's always good to do that with maths. Um, and we're just revising that an even number can be divided by 2 to equal a whole number. And an example would be 10. 10 is an even number because when you um, divide it by 2, it equals 5, which is a whole number. And also an odd number, or um, furthermore, an odd number is a number that cannot be divided by 2 to equal a whole number. An example would be 11, uh, and be, that is because 11 divided by 2 is 5.5, and that is definitely not a whole number, so 11 is an odd number. So, um, you first make sure you pause the video and record uh, this section on your math sheet of where you're recording the keywords and definitions. Now, we're just going to look at the rules or adding, subtracting, multiplying and dividing with odd and even numbers very briefly. So here we've got, um, I'll just put in better order, here we've got um, an example, an even number plus an even number will equal an even number and an even number take away an odd number, it will equal an odd number for the subtracting rules you've got multiplying and dividing as well. Alright, so Let's move on to some examples um, of using these sorts of rules. Just move these ones out of the way. So here we've got uh, question one. What sort of number, odd or even, will be the answer to nine plus nine? Now I've already got the um, the answer here, which is even, and I'll just quickly rub off the bottom ones down there. Um, and we can still look over here and we find the adding rules. Now this is even and I'll show you why because you need to look at the 9 plus 9 and they're both odd numbers because when you divide um, 9 by 2 it equals an uneven number so it's an odd number uh, so we're looking for two odds equals an even number and over here for 11 times 8 we simply go to the multiplying rules page uh, and that is 11 which is an odd number so it's one of these times um, an even number. So it's not that one, it's this one here. Odd times even equals even. It's really quite fascinating um, with all these different rules for the um, adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing. Um, Alright, so anyway, <laughs> uh, question number two, do you need an odd or an even number to complete these number sentences? So here we have 50 plus something equals 98. I'm not asking in this sort of question for the actual answer of what it, what it is. I'm just asking for what sort of number, what type of number um, is, is missing there. So I know this is an addition one, so I go to the adding rules um, poster. So I've got here 50, which is an even number. Uh, it's one of these. Um, plus something is 98. And 98 is an even number as well. So it's this one up here. Even um, plus even equals an even number. So you would just write E. I'm just writing E for short, even. Then here we've got um, a dividing question. So I'll just get out my dividing rules page. There we go. 642 divided by something equals 6. For this one here, 642, I'm just going to look in the ones column and two, the digit 2 is an even number. So 642 is in fact an even number divided by something equals an even number. That's this rule up here. So the middle number should be, or actually will be, <laughs> um, an odd number. So that's um, as simple as that. So uh, now this is your time, well, this is your turn, sorry, to have a go. So here are some questions. We've got what sort of number, odd or even, will be the answer to 59 times 59. 
And do you need an odd or an even number to complete these number sentences? Uh, we've got 50 take away something is 40, and 43 times something is 301. So make sure you pause the video now and have a go uh, with these practice questions on your math sheet for homework. Alright, so now um, we'll uh, go through these answers tomorrow in class. Um, and just make sure you record at least one real world example um, of this topic in box 3 on your homework sheet. And also make sure you record some comments and questions that you have um, after, this, after this little video. So I hope this video has helped you understand this math topic. And thank you for listening to and watching this video about the properties of odd and even numbers.